Okay, brothers and sisters. Let's see. You want to turn on some lights? Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, we're going to turn on this light here. Oh. Woo, hoo, 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 hoo. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, we're going to turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and, apostles, elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144, hopefully elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word. Follow the land wherever you go. Shalom. Woo! Oh, man. What a day, brothers and sisters. What a day. Man, I ain't lying. I ain't lying, man. I worked uh, today. I was at the plantation, man. I, I did the work of like... Three to four men, brothers. I ain't say I ain't lying. All the way, all day, and, and I got off, you know, late. I had to work, you know. Just did it, man. All praise to you. How about you, my shot? But hey, yes, hey, hey. You know, uh, and looking back at this, you know, looking back at this, I, I'm thinking, you know, uh, as if it was like a like a test or a trial to see if I can endure afflictions or, or whatever, you know. Seriously, man, because wow, man, that's a lot of work. You know, but through it all, you know, I, I kept, I kept, you know, kept, th all I was thinking about the whole time, I was not, I was not in the flesh, trust me. It was, it, looking back, I was not in the flesh, man. I was totally in the spirit the whole time. All, all I'm thinking about was the kingdom of heaven, kingdom of heaven, you know, uh, and what I was doing, I didn't, I really didn't care, man. I didn't, I didn't give one flying fuck because, you know, let's get, let's get these scriptures, man. I didn't give... I didn't give it one flying fuck, man, about what was going on. Okay, all I'm thinking about the whole time was the kingdom of heaven. Let's bring this scripture out, man. This is the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 24, verse 13. It says, But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. You know what I'm talking about? He that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. And that goes hand in hand, what I was thinking about, you know, in hindsight, looking back. All I was doing was waiting, you know, just here. We're here now, yet this day in our captivity. You know, we understand this. And we're just going through this motion here. But this here, this is where it's at. Right here, what we're doing now. You know, uh, bringing out the word. Believing in your about Shema Shai. And, and, and uh, living in the, in the spirit, man. That's what, and waiting, you know. Waiting on your about Shema Shai. That's what's going on. That's what's going on, brothers and sisters. Um, now, so he that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved, right? Because look, we're preaching this gospel on the four corners of the earth. You know, just as the scripture continues on reading in uh, chapter and verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come, brothers and sisters. So we're waiting on the end to come. We're waiting on Yahweh Hashem Hashem to come and redeem us out of this hell hole. You know. Ah. I'm going to go to the book of Baruch. I was watching all my brothers, you know, listening to my brothers, which are, like I said before, they're helping, man. The comfort, the comforter, you know, Yahweh Hashem Hashem says, comfort each other with these, you know, with these words. And uh, just watching the, all the, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and all the other brothers on down, you know, throughout the day. It just easy put that ease on you to be able to make it through anything. So it's the words of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, that's that's gonna get us through all these things. Because uh, as the scripture as the scripture says, let's go get that scripture real quick before we go over there. We'll come a little closer over here. As the scripture says in the book of Revelations. Chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Okay, because Yahweh Hashem Hashem has already come. He's already shed his blood for our sins, you know. So, we've already we've repented to the one true living God. We've turned, you know. Now we're we're doing doing the law, such commandments to the best of our abilities. We're seeking the Lord's face. Um, you know, we have the mind of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. We're doing whatever we can. We're seeking out our own salvation with fear and trembling, right? And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, right? And by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Hey, ain't that the truth, man? 
So the word of our testimony, man, because we're constantly bringing out the spirit of truth, man. We're constantly, we're constantly uh, dwelling on these prophecies, man. Okay? With the spirit of, of prophecy, man, we're constantly dwelling on what Yahweh Shema is going to do, what he said he's going to do, you know, how he's going to come down and destroy this wicked ass kingdom, you know what I'm saying? How we're going to get salvation. Let's, go, let's continue on in the scriptures, man. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. While thou hast scattered us, where thou hast scattered us, for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our, our God. How about Shema Shah? Right, so today, when I was out there, you know, when I was in, in the thick of it, man, and that's why I was just, I, I didn't care. I didn't care no more because now we're looking for new heavens and new earth. You know, all this shit don't matter. Let's go get that, man. Because all I'm thinking about is the kingdom of heaven, brothers and sisters, because we understand Yahweh Shema Shah has, has quickened us. He's made us alive. He's given us his Holy Spirit. He's given us the, the understanding, you know, the, the, un, to be able to, you know, the, to bear, man. And we're bearing this cross, you know. We're, we're doing the work. We're, we're, we're uh, suffering. We're, we're, we're understanding why we're here in this captivity yet this day. We, we understand why we're subject to payments. I woke up this morning groaning, oh, shit, man, I got to go. To the plantation again, you know. Of course, we got to go again until Yahweh Hashem come and redeem us, man. Until the Lord come and redeem us out this hell hole. Okay, this is uh Second Peter chapter three verse eleven. Send then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? You know, that's right, man. Who? Hey, at this at this particular time, at this time, we we not worried no more about. These loud music, these jakes, these two thirds, because also, you know, the spirit was on me to be bringing out. Uh, hopefully, and now, you know, if the Lord, if the Lord work, working with us, you know, to bring. I know early on it was about uh, this. This 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 epistle was going to be about beginning to let go. What I mean, we're already on that path anyway. But no, as the scripture has has declared, man, and this is going into it right here. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of Yahweh by Shema Shah, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay? Because all this stuff that we see here is temporal. Everything is going to be gone, man. Here in Babylon the Great, that is. You know? Uh, we're talking about people. We're talking about jobs. We're talking about loved ones. You know, family and all that stuff. Saying that all these things are going to be dissolved. Because Shehah by Shema Shah has already proclaimed that he's coming back. And all the Let's go get it. All the sinners of my people will die by the sword in the book of Amos. You know, the book of Amos chapter 9 verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. So we, 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 we understand this. We're coming. Hey man, this is... Yahweh by Shema Shah said, I'll be in you and you'll be in me. We're gonna we we vibing together, man. All day long thinking about Yahweh by Shema Shah, thinking about the kingdom of heaven, thinking about what is to come rather than this thing that that is present. You know what I'm saying? So and and plus every morning now, you know, I, when I pray Yahweh by Shema Shah, I ask Yahweh by Shema Shah to direct my footsteps for the day, you know, to to protect me through that day. You know, to put the spirit on me, brothers and sisters, to get through these days. You know what I'm saying? To get through these days. So, if I already said my prayer, I believe in Yahweh Shema I ain't got nothing. What? I don't have anything else to, to worry about, man. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angels of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him, and delivered them. Okay? Because, you know, as long as we, we fear you, how about Shema Shai? And we, we uh, the Lord said, I'll give you any, whatever you ask, if it's his will, you know. Just pray to the Lord, man, and uh, ask the Lord to keep, keep us, and take care of us in these last days. You know, because we're yet this day in our captivity. 
you know, the Lord, we're under these curses. These curses are going to stay up on us until the Lord come and deliver us out of this, out of this hell hole. Takes us out of this chains of darkness, you know. So what else, what else can we do? But what did the Lord say? Occupy till I come, man. Come out, continue on in the word with the brothers, you know. I want to go back to the book of uh, Amos. Okay, chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from all the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said Yehobah Shemasha. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel from among all nations like corn and sifting in the sea, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Okay, so Yehobah Shemasha has already declared that he's going to come and get us and deliver us out of all this madness, man, that we're going through. Um, the only thing we have to worry about is, is doing the things that, is, that are pleasing to you. How about Shema Shai? And that's what's going on, man. I was thinking about, yeah, I'm going to, you know, get finished with this. But it just, it you know, it just it just so happens that the work was just a, greater than I thought it was going to be, man. And uh, it just so happened. You know, I was there alone. I had to do it. But the whole time I was thinking about coming to camp. You know, thinking about the kingdom of heaven, uh, hoping that I'm doing the things that please you. How about Shema Shah, you know? Oh, look, this is a beautiful scripture right here. Let's bring this out. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 27. Behold, Salaki, it says, Be of good comfort, okay? Be of good comfort, brothers and sisters. Oh, my children, and cry unto you, how about Shema Shah? For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh Shemashah, so being returned seeking ten times more. For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Okay, so once again, going all the way back to the book of Matthew, like we started in. Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure them until the end, okay, the same shall be saved. You know, uh... Once again, breaking down these strongholds of all these damn lying ass churches talking about we already saved. No. Yeah, how about Shema Shah's talking about he's gonna come and save us. Because uh let's go get another let's go get another scripture, man. Because uh, you know, coming into the truth, understanding the hundred percent truth and, and and what has happened to us. You know, so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Hey, it stands to reason. This is the book of Ecclesiastics in the Bible, chapter 7, verse 7. It says, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyed the heart. So, you know, the scriptures say it's okay to be mad, but sin not. And uh, even though, you know, we're going through all these trials and tribulations, we're going through all this suffering, all these afflictions. Uh, when you first come into the truth, yeah, you're gonna get a little upset about Esau Edom. Sometimes, you know, you're in this, you're in this flesh. You're gonna get, you know, flared up. But hey, you know, and we're in this flesh, so we can't walk in the spirit all the time. So you're gonna get mad at sometimes, man. But once you, when you're in the spirit, man, and you keep your your mind on heavenly things, you know, it's easier to be in the spirit. You know, and not all this little bullshit. It, it, it really falls away, man. I'm serious, brother. Uh, yeah, of course, I'm, you know, be complaining, you know, bitching and moaning about Esau and how stupid they is and, you know, how damn just the whole thing, you know, sometimes gets to you. But at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, that's why the scripture right here says, Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto you about Shema Shai. Okay? For he shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Yeah, it's, it's all, Yahweh Shemashah has already declared the end from the beginning. All we have to do is endure until the end, my man. And the rest is history, you know. Let's see where we're going to go next, man. Right. And uh, so once again, going back to that Second Peter um, chapter 3 verse 11 that we were talking about that seeing all these things are going to be dissolved what manner of person are you to be because we're looking for new heavens and new earth right all this other all this all this stuff right here is nothing so with that said going back into the mindset of being prepared 
and being on one accord with Yahweh Shah when he comes back because uh, we're about to start witnessing mass death, okay? We're about to start witnessing uh, these prophecies coming off, man. When I saw those uh, all those chariots leaving the earth the other day, I don't, you know, I, in my mind, I had a few things come up in my mind. The number one, the angels are, of the Lord are, are, are in every place, observing the good and the bad. And I'm thinking to myself, well, what, what if, what if, you know, that's, that's it. You know, there's enough evidence right there, you know, that it needs, do we still need to be recorded? Or is the rest ready, to, you know, auto, on autopilot, man? I'm wondering. I, we don't know. I don't know what those chariots are doing, you know. Uh, but it's a to it's a beautiful token of Yahweh Shema Shah that something is about to happen. Maybe that's what it's just a sign that something is about to happen, because um, Brother Malcolm with the Chicago uh, with the with the Chicago um, camp just brought out, and they said they're gonna they might do an epistle about it. Who was that? The Pentagon just came out, brothers and sisters, saying that uh, in July, or somewhere around in the time of July, they is about to make this medicine mandatory. And of course it has to be, because if that's the software for the hardware of the machine, of the machinery that they want you to put inside you as well, you got to take the medicine. Everybody got to take the medicine. So that's the time. Of this, of this mass death that's about to start taking place because, uh, as they was, as the brother was bringing out, that the um, all the Edomites that's losing their rights and being forced to do something against their will. You know, we've always had to bow down and do what Esau Edom has wanted us to do. You know, in one way or the other. But they have had real, they have had real rights. You know, because the Constitution was written was not written for us. You know, that's why when we hear this truth, it's it's it's, it's the good news, man. Cause we seek we seek a, a better country, man. You know, uh, but anyway, they're about to it's about to do it. It's about to go down, man. And that's good news, man. So we can get the hell out of here, brothers and sisters. Because Yahweh about Shema Shah has already declared that he's gonna lift up a standard. We're gonna get let's go let's go get some strippers. But anyway, going right back to uh, so that's about to be made mandatory. You know, and we knew that it was gonna happen. Uh, but we also know Yahweh Shema Shah is told, you know, uh, coming back to Yahweh Shema Shah, as the scripture said, For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh Shema Shah, so being returned, seek him ten times more, right? So we're doing the law of such commandment to the best of our abilities. We're coming back as that noble vine. We understand that we've won we went off, and one of the law of such commandments to us, not to everybody, not to the whole world. Not to other nations, but to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. The lost 12 tribes of Israel. The Lord, Yahweh Hashem HaShah, has declared that we are not supposed to be making any cuttings in our flesh. You know what I'm saying? All these things, you know. We're not supposed to be putting our trust in man. All these things, brothers and sisters. So that's what we're seeking in 10 times more now. You know, we're coming back to who we are as a people, man. And we're obeying. We, As the scriptures say, we ought to obey God rather than man. So things are about to happen. Yahweh Hashem HaShah declared he's going to set up a standard and we have to trust in Yahweh Hashem HaShah and endure all things just like I endured that today. Yahweh Hashem HaShah put the spirit on me uh, you know to make it through that with, 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 with peace and joy in my heart you know keeping the scriptures right there you know keeping the word right there but I want to I want to go back once again now Salaki and we're going we're gonna to go ahead and get it now when these things start to take place, the word has went out. The warning has went out. Yahweh Shem Hashem say all the sinners of my people would die by the sword. Ain't no saving. Ain't no. Ain't, ain't nobody saving nobody. Ain't nobody getting sad. Let's go get it anyway. It says, "Let's go. Let's read this real quick." Um, this is the book of Mark, chapter three, verse thirty-one. Wait, hold on one second. I want to hold it. Get one. I want to get this one on deck. Okay. 
This is the book of Mark chapter 3, verse 31. There, there came then his brethren and his mother, and standing without sent unto him, calling him. And the multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, my mo thy mother and thy brethren without seek for thee. Okay? It says, and he answered them, saying, Who is my mother and my brethren? Right? And he looked around about on them, which sat about him, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of Yahweh Shema the same is my brother and, this, and my sister and mother, right? Because, man, hey, man, this is some serious business. I remember uh, when I first came into the truth. And I was, hey, man, I was down with it. I was, I was down with Yahweh Shema Shah, man, because he, he said, He that is not with me is against me, right? And he, that is, he that is against me scattered abroad, right? Because if you don't believe in this word, if you don't believe in this truth, then you're coming against the word of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. But the scripture also just told us to seek and tend to our heart, man, being returned to him. So now there's a separation because we already understand that two-thirds of the children of Israel will be cut off, brothers and sisters. All right, so this is the, this is the, the line in the sand for real, man, because this gospel has been preached on the four corners of the earth. And the end is about to come. And we can't wait to get the hell up out of here, right? Yahweh Hashem Hashem say, who's my brother, who's my sister, who's my mother? Let's go to the book of... Uh, Let's go get it. The book of Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 10. Book of Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 10. Good night, night. Well, let's start at 9. It says, Will ye still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and burn incense unto Baal? And walk after other gods whom you knew not. And come and stand before me in this house. Which is called by my name. And say we are delivered to do all these abominations. So Lucky, I, I went to the wrong one. It's 7 verse 10, not 10 verse 7. So Lucky. Let's, let's start at verse 6. Seven, uh, Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 6. For so much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord. Thou art great, and thy name is great in might. Wait a minute. Man, I told y'all. I told y'all. <laughs> Salaki, brothers and sisters. Work, man. That's what happened when you... Woo! That's why we can't wait to get up out of here. Okay? That's why we cannot wait to get out of here and go to the kingdom of heaven, man. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 16. Please forgive me. We're started. Therefore, pray not for this people. Pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up a cry, nor prayer for them. Neither make intercessions to me, for I will not hear thee. Okay? Because in this time, when things start to get heat up around here, when you how about Shema Shah bring in the famine of the word? Because right now the gates of mercy are open. We've been out here uh, prophesying and preaching the word, you know, to the best of our abilities. You know, elders, apostles, of great millstone, been bringing it out, man, for. 30 years plus, man, decades upon, you know, decades on decades and decades. Their fruit come up. Start bringing out the word. Telling the children of Israel to repent. Come on in. And we understand that this word is going out to the 144, hopefully elect, and one third of Israel, right? The ones that are destined for this salvation, brothers and sisters. Two thirds of the children of Israel are, are to be cut off, man. And we're just praying and hoping that we are part of that number, man. We are, man. We we praying and hoping to, to be a part of that number. We're we're, uh, we're just doing it. We're just, you know, walk, we, we're doing everything Yahweh Hashem has proclaimed for us to do to the best of our ability, to our understanding that He's given us to, the spirit that He's put on us to do it, man. Because we believe these words, brothers and sisters. We believe that Yahweh Hashem is going to come and He's going to tear this place up, man. Let's go get that, man. All I can say is that that's probably a demon, man. You know, uh, like it, it don't it don't amaze me no more, man. All the all the wickedness and stuff that you know people do, and you, you know you sometimes you think nothing of it, but for the most part, man, nowadays just be some 
some wicked shit be going on, man, because don't forget the whole world lies in wickedness. If you're not in this truth, you know, uh, like even 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 for me in this flesh, man, I have to rebuke rebuke all these thoughts in my head, you know, and try to walk that that path, you know, righteousness to the best of my ability. That ain't easy, you know. Okay, come on, let's go get this. The Book of Psalms, chapter one hundred six, verse thirty-two. No, I like it. No, no, no. Okay, it's it's. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 8. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 8. Okay. I don't know why I didn't put my glasses on, man. I'm gonna put my glasses on. Okay, we almost there. Hold on. This is that book of Habakkuk, chapter three, verse eight. It says, "Was Yahweh Shemashah? Was, was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was thy anger against the rivers?" Was thy wrath against the sea that thou dost did ride upon thine horses and thy chariots of salvation? Okay. Yahweh yeah, Shemashah is coming back, man. He's coming back. He's gonna like <laughs> like the big like the big brother, the elder on the go, GMS on the go. The Lord is coming back angry, man. I think that's probably maybe the first time I ever I ever heard him when I first heard that uh, that epistle, man. The Lord is coming back angry, man. I remember that. Professor. Let's go to the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 13 verse 1. The burden of Babylon which, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon a high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the noble. Okay so all this you know all these these words you know how about Shema Shah has destroyed them. This devil, Esau, Edom, Caucasian race with the brightness of his coming, man. So, like, let's go get it, man. The book of Second Thessalonians. Chapter uh, 8. Second, Second Thessalonians chapter two verse eight. Then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Right. So uh, the Yahweh Shemashai is consuming this devil with the spirit of his mouth. That so much uh, this this word has gotten into the gates of the noble. You know, uh, they're, they're they're beefing up the algorithms. They're doing all kind of manner of wickedness. They're taking down the brothers' pages. They're calling it hate speech. You know, they're making war against the saints, man. For just as reading the Bible, right? And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So you have by Shemashah when he come back, he's gonna take this devil, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race down, man. He's gonna destroy this beast system, you know, and then set up that kingdom of righteousness that we so long waiting for, man, that we so long waiting on. So it says back in the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 2, lift up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them, you know. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the noble. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger. Even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise. Of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustered the host of the, of the battle. 
They come from a far country, from the end of heaven. Yahweh Hashem even the Lord and the weapons of His ignorant nation to destroy the whole land. And that's what we out here preaching, man. We're preaching condemnation for this this wicked ass place, man. Babylon the Great, aka America, you know, to be destroyed with nuclear weapons, man. But also it's preaching salvation to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, you stiff neck, stiff neck Israelites. But that's okay. Because Yahweh Hashem has already allowed, uh, gave, you know, gave us the understanding, you know, not to be in darkness, but to be on one accord with Him, to understand His words, man. To, for us to know that, hey, two-thirds of the children of Israel will be cut off. You know, don't, that's why He said, uh, be ye holy, be separate, come away from among them. He's not talking just about Esau and Edom, he's also talking about the two-thirds of the children of Israel. Them damn stiff neck ass niggas, man. Them wicked ass niggas. Hell. Dude over there, man, playing that damn loud ass music, them damn, uh, them roster, roster, rosters, man, that don't want to damn repent to the one true living God. They want to continue doing the things their own damn way, smoking and ganja and shit, witchcraft. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how about Shema Shah about to come and, and destroy this place, man? We can't wait. Let's go back. Back over here to the book of Isaiah, chapter 13. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land, man. That's the nuclear warheads, man, the arrows. How ye? For the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty, man. That's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on Yahweh Shema Shai to come and destroy this place, man, to get us out of this hell hole. How many more days? You know, of course, yeah. We're going to go through the great tribulation, man. We're going to go through that this this great time of Jacob's trouble. How many days do we have to continue, man? Come on, let's go get that scripture real quick, man. I'm serious, brother. It ain't easy. Y'all know it. Y'all know it, man. Because we suffer the same afflictions. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6, verse 5. Uh, Salaki, chapter 6, verse 57. And now, O Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah, behold, these heathens, which has ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. If the whole world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure, man? You know, because we, we're just waiting, you know, uh, uh, see, the whole body hurting right here, man. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the to Ezra uh, to Isaiah. Hold on one second. Yeah, so like it took me a while to get it, man. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 51, verse 14. The captive exile, hasten that he may be loose, and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail. Okay? And that, oh man, let's go, let's go to Isaiah 51 and 14. Real quick. Let's read it from uh, verse 9. So this is Isaiah chapter uh, 51, verse 9. Awake, awake, put on thy strength. O arm the Lord, awake. 
as in the ancient days, in the generations of old, brothers and sisters, art thou not, art thou not it that hath cut Rehab and wounded the dragon? Art thou not it which have dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that have made the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over? Therefore, the Redeemer of Yahweh Shema Shah shall return and come with singing unto Zion and everlasting joy and shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away, man. That's what I was doing this morning. I was like, oh. I even, I am he that comforted you. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die? And of the son of man, which shall be made of grass. Right, because Yahweh Shema Shah is going to destroy all these damn heathens. That's why, man, the Lord has put the spirit on us, you know, uh, throughout being baptized with the word, as all, all the elders apostles are bringing it out, man. You know, he's, he's letting it be known that, hey, fear not thy word in Jacob. He said, okay, some of us, you know, might be a martyr, but for the most part, just like the brothers in Chicago brought it out today. Uh, yeah, when Esau come in, man, they're going to come in fucking around. They're probably going to come in and scoop up a couple of brothers, you know, try to rattle, rattle, rattle us up a little bit. But then when they come in again, yeah, how about Shema Shai might be set up that standard then, you know. Because they got to, you know, they got to get come for the bait, you know. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to see how it plays out, man. But, you know, through it all, yeah, how about Shema Shai's putting the spirit on building us up in the spirit just like today i was in the spirit all day i wasn't worried about it uh having to you know un, you know when you when you understand when you have hashem outside giving the spirit of understanding then you are set free you know as the scriptures say you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free the truth is just like you said right here i even i am he that comforted you who art thou that thou should shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die? Right. He's saying don't be afraid. Because the scriptures say that hey, we should be, uh, fear not the one that can kill the body, but fear the one that can kill the body and the soul. That's why uh, the scripture talks about uh, the ones that are crowned stood so stiffly for the word of Yahweh Shema Shai, man. Just like our forefathers in the day. You know? I, even I, Am he that comforted you? Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die? And of the son of man which shall be made of, as grass? And forget is the Lord thy maker that has stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth and has feared continually every day because of the fury of the, the oppressor as if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? Right, because we gotta understand that Yahweh Shema Shai is in control of all things, man. The captive exile hasten that he may be loose, and that he should not die in the pit, or that his bread should fail. Right. So in this all this time, these upcoming times that's about to happen, man, we're putting our trust in Yahweh Shema Shai, man. Okay, that he's gonna deliver us out of this out of this hell hole, number one, and that we, he's not gonna leave us here to die in the pit. With the rest of the two thirds of the children of Israel, and now with Esau eating the Caucasian race here over here in Babylon the Great, aka America, when those nuclear nuclear warheads come to destroy this place, man. And and then throughout this time of Jacob's trouble, the scriptures say that uh, uh, ye shall be hungry, but my servant shall eat. So we're praying and hoping that we are are are, are, are of that number, man. 144, hopefully, like that will be eating, man, while everybody else running around here starving to death and like looking all crazy and shit because they didn't put their trust in the Yahweh Shema Shah. It says, verse 14, The captive exile hastened that he should be loose, and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his, his bread should fail. But I am Yahweh Shema Shai, the Lord thy God, that divided the sea, whose waves roared. Yahweh Shema Shai, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, is his name. And have I have put... My words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadow of mine hand, that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth, 
and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. That's right. That's why we're coming out here on, on the highways and hedges telling the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians that you are the Lord's chosen people. And hey, that's why we've been telling y'all to repent to the one true living God because this salvation is about, to, you know, the gates of mercy are open right now. But the Lord also going to bring destruction. You know, as we read in the book of Amos chapter 2, verse, uh, shit. Amos chapter 9, verse 10, Salaki. You know, that all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Why? Because they're not covered by the blood of the Lamb. Why? Because they don't believe in the words of the Scriptures. Why? Because. Let's go get it in the book of uh, Romans. Ultimately, ultimately, you got to just, you know, hey man, you have to believe it, man, and, and, and just accept it, man. Accept it for what it is. This is the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. Okay? Because the scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. Alright? And that's why, man, brothers and sisters, that's why we're hoping and praying so much to be a part of this 144 hopefully leg. Because Yahweh by Shema Shah say they 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 already overcome. They they they've already overcame, man. They overcame him. We read it in the book of uh, Revelation chapter twelve, verse eleven, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, because they believed in the one true living God. You know, they believed that Yahweh raised up their the, his uh, only begotten Son from the dead. They believed in the words. You know, and they overcame him. By the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, man. And they loved not their lives unto the death, which also means that they turned away from this wicked-ass world and all the bullshit that it has to offer, all the lies and all the philosophies and all the deceptions, you know, all the false doctrines that they have to offer, man. All of it. And they stood so stiffly for the word of Yahweh Hashem HaShem. So, one more time, back in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 29. For whom he did for no, he, al he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Okay? You know? But what should we say then to these things? If Yahweh Hashem shall be for us, who can be against us? And that's what we're talking about right there. You know, if we are a part of that 144 elect, who can be against us? Because the scripture is telling you, hey, everything is going to be okay. Regard anyway, it's going to be okay, man. Regardless. And we, hey, man, I'm just happy to be able to, uh, as my reasonable service, be, be you know, to uh, continue to fight, man. Fight the good fight of faith, you know, to, uh, through, through all of that, you know, all the adversity, you know, through the ups and downs, to continue to keep the faith, to continue to come out here, you know, uh, as, as my big brothers, my elders, all the men before me, all the big brothers, the elders, apostles, the great millstone have been doing it for, you know, so diligently for all these years, man, to, to just... Follow that line, brothers and sisters. Walk right, walk right there, and and and, and, uh, and keep it up. And God willing, hopefully, I'll be able to endure this to the end, brothers and sisters, as as do ye. You know. Hey y'all. I think we're about to we're gonna wrap it up, man. But I wanna read this 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 last little piece right here, okay? And I hope hopefully this will suffice, brothers and sisters. All praise to you, how about you, my shot?
This is uh, the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh Shema Shai through our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because the Lord Yahweh Shai is making intercession, you know, he died for our sins. He's the mediator. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope. Thanks, God bless you too, bro. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yahweh Shema Shah. That's right, we, we rejoice in hope, man. We're hoping to be a part of that number. This is verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulations work with patience. And patience, experience, and experience, hope. That's right, man. Because what? All we got is that hope, man. So through it all, no matter what comes our way, how difficult it may seem, just right there, stay in the spirit, man. Looking for, you know, and hastening the day of the coming of Yahweh Hashem Hashai. You know, keeping our mind on heavenly things, man. Knowing that all this shit, don't, this shit don't mean nothing. Okay? All this shit don't mean nothing, man. Okay, let's read it one more time. Verse 3. And not only so, but glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulations work with patience. Amen. And patience, experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not a shame, right? Because the love of Yahweh Shema Shai is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us, man. You know? Yeah. It's true, man, because we're not ashamed. Uh, the, bro <laughs> the brothers was talking about that. Who was saying that, man? No, because we, we are fools for Yahweh Shema Shai. But everybody looking at us like we're crazy. Let's go get that. Let's go get that. Uh, it's beautiful, man. I love it, man. I, hey, man. I, I, I'm so happy that Yahweh Shema Shah has called me out of that darkness into this marvelous light, man. Woo! Because these people are doing exactly the same shit that they've always been doing. But we have hope of new heavens and new earth, you know? This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 9. For I think that Yahweh Shema Shah has sent forth us the apostles last, as is were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. That's right, man. We're a spectacle to these people. Because we're coming out here preaching something brand new, man. We're preaching the new song, man. We're preaching condemnation to this wicked-ass world. You know what I'm saying? We're preaching salvation to the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Let's go back to finish this off in the book of Romans, chapter 5. Verse 5. And hope maketh not a shame, man. Hope maketh not a shame because, hey, we, we listen, let me tell you something. Nothing else matters because Yahweh Shem HaShah has given us the Holy Spirit to understand what's about to go down around here. Okay? So we is hoping to be delivered out of all that bull, that, that, that shit, man. You know, we is hoping to be delivered out of that. So it's like we, uh, like we some beggars type, like, and we, we like starving to death, you know, and we know just like the lady, there's like the lady with the, uh, with the unrighteous judge. She come, coming to that judge over and over again. You know, harassing that judge, and he said, "Shit, man, let me, let me just, let me, let me, let me, let me take care of this lady, so she just stop coming to me, man." Okay, so just like us, we we begging for you, we begging you, how about Shema Shah? Everybody else doing their own wickedness. They over here doing all that motherfucking folly and shit. But we over here on our hands and knees, hoping and praying for this salvation in this time of Jacob's trouble, because we believe the word of Yahweh about Shema Shah. Okay, so we ain't ashamed. We ain't ashamed, 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 we ain't ashamed. Because when this shit go down, 
It says, And hope make it not ashamed, because the love of Yahweh Hashem Shai is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Yahweh Shai died for the ungodly. For sacrifice for a righteous man will one die. But preadventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But Yahweh Shema Shai cometh, com commended his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Yahweh Shai died for us, man. That's right, he, he died for these filthy rags, man, so that we might have life, we might have hope. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Okay, so that's right there should give, you know, incentive and insurance. You know, that's why we're hoping to be a part of that number, that elect man. Uh, because once again, going back to the scripture. Yes, yes, the scripture that says he that believeth in me. Is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Right. So we believe in Yahweh Hashem Al man. Okay. And uh, uh, we're we're doers of the word. Our actions show that. Our words show that we really wholeheartedly believe in Him. And Yahweh Hashem Al has given us this ministry to make sure that we keep each other in check. You know, you see a brother going off. Uh, uh brother. Nope. You know, Yahweh Hashem Al has made us into men. Told us to gird up our loins. You know, and not continue on, you know, uh, you know, being all emotional and shit. No, because we're we're seeking salvation with fear and trembling. We're seeking out our own salvation with fear and trembling. That's why, uh, uh, you know, a wise man, you know, uh, would not harden his neck to rebuke. He's gonna be like, "Thank you, brother. Yes, man. Let me get that. Let me get that in check." Once again, because we understand, we believe in the word. You know. Much more, this is verse 9 again. So Romans chapter 5 verse 9. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Right. Not, right. And now, see, the thing about this scripture right here, man. It's because Yahweh Shema Shai is actually giving us this understanding to believe the 100% truth. Which is a precious thing because there's a lot of Israelites who don't believe they either they got a problem with that or they got a problem with that and they don't really believe the word they say they do but they don't and they, we can't even talk about the Christians in these damn funky harley houses they're worshiping false gods you know some of some of the children of Israel are calling on a false god but they're saying that they're Israelites you know, that's the GOCC them and the IUIC them. You know? But Yahweh by Shema Shah know who these people are, man. So listen. That's why the scripture are talking about right here. We, we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta come back to that real quick. Second Ezra chapter 9 verse 13. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. Okay? So, and that's and that's also what we're going into now. You know, uh, understanding that Esau Edom is about to, you know, try to make this thing mandatory. So it's going to make everything, squeezing on everything, man. So, some things about to happen on the earth right now, man. So all this time... Of uh, joking and stuff. All that's out the window. Now. It's about to get real real. Okay. We got to be walking in the spirit brothers and sisters. That's why this scripture right here means a lot. And uh. You know who's my brother. Who's my mother. Who's my sister. We have to trust in you. How about Shema Shai. You know. Trust in the Lord man. That's what's going on right here. Just believe in the Lord. You how about Shema Shai. Believe in the words. What he has said to us. And then. Okay, it says, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. Right, because the word has been out. You know, scripture say, does Israel know? Have they not heard? Yes, verily, this word has been out on the four corners of the earth. You know, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is and for whom 
the world is created. Then answered I and said, I have said before, now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter that there, there be many more of them that perish, which perish, than them which shall be saved. Right? So we already understand that there's many more that's going to perish than them that be saved, man. Like a wave is greater than a drop, man. Okay? And he answered me, saying, like as the field is, so is also the seed. As the flowers be, such as the colors also, such as the workman is. Such also is the work. And as the husbandry is himself, so is his husbandry also. For it, it was the time of the world, right? So there's a bunch of different uh, examples of how many more are destined to die than the ones that are, that are to save. You know, did one of them say, and that's, that, that puts it a lot of evidence per, in perspective as well because it's talking about a wave to a drop. Now, a drop of water to a wave. Now, we're not talking about one of those cartoon waves where you just see it like this. We're talking about a wave that's in the ocean. And right now, I'm, you know, there's ocean here. I've seen waves. Now, a wave could be... Uh, Almost 500 feet long. You know what I'm saying? It depends on the size of the beach. Okay? Now we're talking about a drop of water, a drop of water compared to a wave. Now then also, Yahweh give us this, give us this understanding of, of an example of uh, a field. Trying to stay in the spirit, you know. Trying to stay in the spirit, brothers. He also gave us an, an example of a field, like a, a whole field. Now, a, a, a farmer's field could be almost like an acre. Say a football field. Oh, my goodness, man. Hey, but let, let me tell you something. Once again, that just that just makes me say thank you to Yahweh Shemashah even more, man. That I'm not involved with that stupidness, and we understand, you know, you know what's really what's what, 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 what really matters right now, man. Folly is setting great dig dignity, man. But anyway, I was just gonna <laughs> round it off, man. But that 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 last one, man, a field like a football field, and one seed in that football field. That's how precious this this truth and the understanding, man, is. And how precious it is uh, for Yahweh Hashem Shah's elect, man. So, wow. Okay? I'm serious, man. That's... And I noticed also, brothers and sisters, that Yahweh Hashem Shah, he's the one that's, that's orchestrating all this. I noticed Yahweh Hashem Shah has me praying more. You know, the brother Shalom 77. Was saying a while back, you know, uh, he, he like he kept saying, "Pray, pray, pray, man, pray, 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 pray all the time." He kept saying, "Pray, uh, you know, like 3 a.m. in the morning if you can. Uh, pray morning, in the afternoon, and also in the evening as well. You know, just pray, pray, pray." And as the scriptures say, "Watch ye therefore and pray, man. Uh, you know, pray, 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 because we have to, hey, yeah, get, get." Hey man, because this is gonna be the time when when things are gonna get rough. We want uh, we want to be right there with Yahweh by Shimasha. You know, I'm just saying. That's the spirit on me to say that, man. Okay, let's let's finish it off. We're gonna close it out. This, let's go to the let's finish it off with uh, Romans chapter five. We're gonna jump over to verse ten. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to Yahweh by Shimasha by the death of His Son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah through Lord Yahweh Shah, by whom we have received the atonement. Okay? So, even understanding this 100% truth that the Messiah came and died for us, and we're going into the Passover as well, you know. That's right. Night. Night. You know, uh, it's just. It's very precious, man.
It's very precious, brothers and sisters. So, uh, pray, pray, pray. Believe in the word. Believe in Yahweh by Shem Shai. Get ready uh, for this time of Jacob's trouble. Yahweh by Shem Shai says he's going to deliver uh, his 144 hopefully elect and one third of Israel out of it, man. Um, you know, just trust in him and don't worry about nothing. Walk in the spirit, you know. Walk so with that, spirit, man. You ain't lying. With, uh, hopefully this was edifying. want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out this 100% truth, keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopefully elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land where it's going. Shalom Israel. Shalom.